Welcome back to another video on Arc Ascended Official PvE. Today we're gonna get the Artifact of the Strong, which is in my opinion the hardest one to get. We're at 2528 in the entrance of the cave. For this run, yes, we're gonna be running, I'm wearing a full set of Primitive Gilly. I brought Focal Chili and Enduro Stew. Focal Chili for the running speed and Enduro Stew for stem generation. Of course, I brought some food and water as well. Let's get this run started. In the first bit, you follow the tunnel all the way on the left hand side until you reach water. This bit is easy. We gotta jump over the water when we reach it. We've reached the water and jump over it. We go straight and then we take a right. We keep bobbing and weaving for Prolovias that might jump out of the ground. If they stun you, your run is basically over. We follow the path on the right hand side of the water. As you can see the dinos aggro really late on me, this is because we're wearing ghillie. This gives you enough time to pass them and keep on running. It wouldn't be arc if we didn't get stuck on something, keep that in mind, sometimes you get stuck on the most stupid things. We continue the path until we reach super big crystals on our right hand side. That's where we jump over the little water puddle and stop for a second. Take time to figure out your next jump. We want to make it to the plateau on the left hand side. Once we make this jump, we follow the path down low and we start jumping over the islands in a straight line. But before the archway, we jump to the right island. This gives us time to regain stem before we jump past the cave enemies. When you lay down, you regenerate your stem faster. Use this time to take a drink or eat some food as well. As soon as we get our stem back, we keep jumping the islands past the cave enemies. All the way till the big crystals on our right hand side. This is where we'll be following the path upwards. Always keep bobbing and weaving for Perlovias that might jump you out of nowhere. Like I said, if you get stunned, your run is basically over because all the aggro cave dinos will start munching on you. We regain some stem and the following bit is pathwise easy, but there is a lot of cave enemies, so you gotta bob and weave your way through. On the way back you can see I make a mistake and all the cave enemies aggro on me, but this time we go through smoothly, as long as there is enough room for your character to fit through. We take a left and jump down off the path in the middle of the room because there is a lot of cave enemies. Take the first path left and go upwards. Follow the path, and at the end of the path, you jump towards the next platform. There is a drop this time, so we grab it. This also gives you an idea of the loot in this cave. I look down to where we're gonna end up, but we're gonna jump to the next platform. But we don't follow that path, but we actually jump left. Then we jump left again, and we jump over the crystals. We follow the path on the left hand side and keep running because of the cave enemies. On the right hand side is a drop and we grab this one too. From this cave we have gotten a Karchar BP as well, so if you're looking for that, now you know where to find it. We jump back the way we came. We came from the left side, so we take a right and jump over the water. Again, we bob and weave to not get jumped by a Prolovia. We follow the path and go left. The cave enemies totally block my way, so I use the sides of the cave to get elevation and jump over them. Instantly take a right. You do not want to fall down, because that's where the enemies will fall down. And we get to the artifact. But we run all the way into the back to let the aggro dinos fall into the pit. I use this time to regain stem, to eat and to drink. And there we go, Artifact of the Strong is in our inventory. Now, the way back. We follow the same path down low and we take a left. We bob and weave through the enemies. At the end of this path, there is sometimes a drop in the water. So we jump down and grab that one. This is almost safe to grab at all times, because the creatures that follow you into the water will stay at the surface. So we grab the drop and we keep swimming the other way. While swimming, I want to share my Twitch with you. 
I stream multiple days per week, so if you're interested in streams, check out my Twitch channel, Gingerella with three A's at the end. The link will be in the description. When we get out of the water on the left hand side, we will generate our stem and we jump over the water to bob and weave through some more enemies. After the next water jump, we take a right and follow the path upwards. We follow this path on the right hand side to avoid the enemies all the way to the crystals. We jump over these crystals and we take a left while following the path to the right. In this bigger room we go straight and we take a right when we can't go straight anymore. From here on out we keep going straight while bobbing and weaving. At this point we want to jump the ridge to get on the little higher path. There is a lot of enemies on my right so we do this carefully. We then follow this path upwards and take a right when we can. Now we get to the part where I make a mistake. We need to go straight, so I tried to get elevation on the sides, but I didn't time my jump correctly. So I had to take a ride into the water, which isn't a bad thing since creatures stay on the surface. I take my moment to eat and drink, and lure some creatures further to create a passage through. As soon as I spot my moment, I take it and bob and weave through the creatures again. Oh. We made it! Keep following this path on the left hand side until you're in a big room again. This is where we will be jumping the islands again. We jump on the first island and then we jump right to follow the path upwards. We follow this path all the way till another water stream and we jump over this water stream. This is the water stream I'm talking about and we jump over it. Again, keep following the path straight till the next water stream and jump over this one as well. This is the second water stream we will be jumping over. Follow the next tunnel on the right hand side and this will bring you all the way to the exit. This was a very long video. Like I said, in my opinion this is the most difficult cave to do just because of all the high level enemies. But with Gilly, Focal Chili and Endurance too, you can complete it. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to like, share or even subscribe. And if you want to see more artifact runs or boss fights, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching!